there's so many ladybirds. Oh, <laughs> hello. Brr, it's cold today. Oh. Hi, ladybird. Are you cold too? You can snuggle under my blanket if you like. OK, try my head then. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. Yes, yes. Yes, puppies? Willow's having a winter welcome party with food and games and everything. Sounds great. Hey, <laughs> now you're on my nose. <laughs> She's so pretty. Look. There's another one. And another. Wow, there's so many. Just look at them all. <laughs> Ladybirds everywhere. <laughs> How strange. I'm sure they weren't here yesterday. Hmm. I wonder why there are so many ladybirds in my barn. <gasps> hey, that's the big question. many ladybirds in my barn. I'm going to need some help on this one. Puppies, I'll meet you at the party after I've answered the big question. OK. See you later. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hmm. The last time I saw lots of ladybirds was in a garden. Who has a garden on Greendale Farm? Mimi? Horace? Or Willow? Mimi has a garden, that's right! Hooray! Come on, let's go and see what Mimi knows about ladybirds. Hi Mimi! Hi Jess! <laughs> wow, you must be starving! I'm not eating them all at once, silly. They've got to last me all winter. Carrots don't grow all year round, so I have to save them. You're so clever, Mimi. That's why I've come to see you. I've got a big question about ladybirds. Ladybirds? I love ladybirds. They're so helpful. They ate all the naughty green fly that were eating my cabbage plants. Actually... I haven't seen any ladybirds in my garden for a few days. <laughs> They're all in my barn. I'm trying to find out why. Hmm. Maybe they're looking for green fly. There aren't any green fly in my barn. Just cat food. I don't think ladybirds like cat food. Do you? Sorry, Jess. Perhaps somebody else can help. Oh, why don't you ask Billy? She's always looking at bugs through her magnifying glass. Good idea. She's bound to know about ladybirds. Bye, Mimi. Good luck. See you later at Willow's winter welcome party. We'll really miss you. Aww. <laughs> Billy! Huh? Hello, you two. I really need your help with my big question. We're just saying goodbye to little bird. Why? Where's she going? Now it's winter. It's too cold for her here. So she's flying to a warmer country. Far, far away. It's so sad. She's going to meet up with her friends and then they're going to fly off together. Bye, little bird. Have a nice trip. Hey, I think I've got the answer to my question. Maybe the ladybirds are meeting up to fly away to a warmer country as well. Ladybirds? What ladybirds? I've got hundreds of them in my barn. I must get back so I can say goodbye. Come on, we'll have to run. 
Ladybirds! Ladybirds! Where are they? I hope they haven't already left. Will you help me look for them? Not on the door. Not in my basket either. <gasps> you found them! Well done! Look, they're all cuddled up together, fast asleep. They don't look as if they're about to fly off anywhere, do they? So that can't be why they're here. Come on, Jess! Shush! You'll wake my ladybirds. Why are they asleep? It's not bedtime. I don't know. Willow would know. That's a good idea. Let's go and find her. <laughs> You made me jump. Sorry, I'll get your apple for you. Thanks, Jess. Hey, there's something else here. Come and look. It's a hedgehog. He's fast asleep. Just like my ladybirds. Don't disturb him. He's going to be asleep for the whole winter. Why? Well, some animals find life hard in the winter. Especially if they can't store their food. So first, they eat as much as they can, and then they find somewhere warm and cosy to sleep. It's called hibernation. Hiber what? what? Hibernation. Hey! You know, before my ladybirds went to sleep, they did lots of eating in Mimi's garden. What was it that the ladybirds ate? Green fly? Flowers? Or carrots? Well done. Brilliant. I think my ladybirds did all that eating because they were getting ready to hibernate. You're right, Jess. Ladybirds do hibernate. They've eaten lots of food and now they'll sleep through the winter and wake up again in the spring. That's it. We've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay. Hooray! <laughs> in my barn because they're hibernating. You found the answer just in time, Jess. Look, everybody's here for the winter welcome party. Welcome, everyone, and welcome to winter. Let's play a game. Hooray! <laughs> when it's winter, why don't you look out for hibernating? Ladybirds or hedgehogs. Just be careful not to wake them up. Come and help me answer another question soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What's that green, hairy stuff? <laughs> Hello. We're playing farmyard findies. This is a really good hiding place. They'll never find me here. <laughs> found you, found you. Found you. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a good hiding place after all. Your turn, Jess. You're the finder. Uh, oh, look. Yeah. What? What is it? <laughs> it's sort of green, hairy stuff. I don't like it. Me neither. What if it starts to grow everywhere? Careful, Jess. Hmm, I wonder what it is. That's weird. It's not growing anywhere else round here. 
What's the green hairy stuff growing under the water barrel? Hey! That's the big question! The green hairy stuff growing under the water barrel. It's like really green, strange grass. Let's go back to Willows for a bit until Jess works out the answer to the question. Yes, good idea. See you later, Jess. Don't worry, puppies. I'll work it out. I promise. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it is a sort of grass. We need to talk to someone who knows lots about grass. Can you guess who I'm thinking of? He's Woolly, he lives in Buttercup Meadow and he eats grass all the time. Is it Horace, Mimi or Bar? Bar, oh, that's right! Yippee! Come on, let's go and see Bar. So it's green? And hairy! And it's growing under the water barrel behind your barn? That's right! Do you think it could be grass? It might be, but I can't be sure unless I actually see it. <gasps> we can look at it through my magnifying glass! OK, let's go! Hold on! <laughs> we can take a bit of grass from Buttercup Meadow to see if it's the same! Perfect! Come on! It's quite a dark green, isn't it? Yes, and it's all lumpy and clumpy too. Let's look at the grass. It's really different. The green hairy stuff doesn't have blades like grass does. And grass isn't lumpy and clumpy like the green hairy stuff. Hmm, the green hairy stuff definitely isn't grass. But what is it then? I really need to know so that the puppies can stop worrying. Well, it's growing, so it's some kind of plant. A plant! Brilliant, Billy! Mimi knows all about plants. Come on, let's go and see Mimi. Yuck! Hmm. Green, hairy stuff that definitely isn't grass. Yes! What do you think it is, Mimi? I don't know. I've got some green hairy stuff growing in my vegetable patch right now. <clears throat> there. These are carrots. Carrots have a green hairy top here, see? And this orange part that grows in the ground is the bit you eat. Is this the same as the green hairy stuff that's growing under the water barrel? Let me have a look. Hmm. It doesn't look the same. No, it's not the same at all. The green hairy stuff under the water barrel definitely isn't the top of the carrot. I've got to find the answer. The puppies are really worried. Hmm. Maybe it'll help if I have a look at it. Oh, thanks, Mimi. Come on, everyone. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I've seen it growing somewhere else. You mean somewhere around here? Yes. <gasps> oh no! It could be taking over the farm! <gasps> We've got to find out what this green hairy stuff is as soon as possible! Oh! Can you remember where you've seen it growing before, Mimi? I think so, yes! Right! If you show us where it's growing, Mimi, that might help us work out what it is. Lots and lots. Yes, but not everywhere. What do you mean, Jess? It's just, I'm sure there was something the same. In all the places where we found the green hairy stuff, we found another thing as well. Can you remember what it was? Is it trees, 
water or bricks? Water, that's right! So I think the green hairy stuff likes to grow in wet places where there's lots of water. You're right! You're so clever, Jess! Oh, Mimi! <laughs> but how does it help us find out what the green hairy stuff actually is? I know, I know! Horace knows all about water. Let's go and see him. Come on! Hi, Jess! Have you found out what the green hairy stuff is yet? Not yet, puppies. Aww. Whoop -de whoop Hi, everyone. Horace, there's some green hairy stuff growing under the water barrel and we're trying to find out what it is. Can you help? Jess, look! <gasps> there's lots of it growing here by the pond, too. Ugh. It's yucky. We don't like it. <laughs> well, I love it. What? what? Really? really? What is it, Horace? It's moss. It's all soft and spongy, see? <laughs> it's lovely and comfy. I've got my own little moss garden. I love it. But why is it growing here? And under the water barrel? And in the whispering woods? And by the potting shed? Because they're all cool, shady, damp places. And moss is a plant that specially likes growing in cool, shady, damp places. Like under the water barrel. That's why it's growing there. We've answered the question. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay! Hooray! stuff growing under the water barrel is moss. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now I know what it is. It's not so scary anymore. It's quite cosy <laughs> actually. <gasps> Tell you what, I'll make you a special moss garden in a damp place near my hutch if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yes. Yes, yes please, please me. Me, me. Why don't you see how many different places you can find moss growing? Maybe you could make a special moss garden too. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. That feels so good. Wow. <laughs> How can we mend Bar's trough? Oh, hello. I'm going to play at Bar and Billy's. Do you want to come too? Great. Come on. Hello, Bar. Are you having a drink? No, I'm not having a drink. Why not? Because there's not a drink to have. All the water's gone. <gasps> Where's it gone? It was raining last night. The trough should be full of water. I think it's gone out through this hole. A hole? Yes, look. Hmm. I think you're right, Billy. What are we going to do? I'm so thirsty. Maybe if we could fill the hole, that would stop the water leaking out. And then when it rains, the water will fill the trough up again. Good idea, Jess. We need something the same shape as the hole. But what is the right shape? Hmm. What shape can we find to mend Bar's trough? Hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way! Guess with Jess, come on, let's play! What's the question here today? What shape can we find to mend Bar's trough? I hope we can find out soon. I really need some water to drink. Water! Let's ask for help from someone who lives on the water. Can you guess who? Joey, Willow or Horace? My friend Horace the Frog! Yes! yes. Let's go and see him. 
trying to bump my... Oh. Hi, Iris. Oh. Ooh, what are you doing? I'm trying to make music, but this piece of bark, it, it just doesn't sound right. It might not sound right, but it looks right. Hmm. Horace, can I have this piece of bark? Of course you can. Why? We need it to try and fill a hole in Bar's trough. Help yourself. I'm going to find something else to make music with. We'll come back and help you, Horace, after we've answered the big question. Come on, Bar. It's OK. I'm going to have a drink here. Hey, don't do that. It's full of pondweed. Yuck. any more shapes. I'm going to lie here and when it rains, I'll catch the water in my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Over it goes. I huh? win. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jess. We're playing Flip the Stone. Whoever flips the stone the furthest wins. Watch this. <laughs> That's brilliant, you two. <laughs> Hey, look at the shape of this stone. Maybe it's the right shape to fill the hole. Maybe. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh dear. It doesn't fit. Oh, that sounds nice. Like music. Music. That's it. Horace was looking for something to make music with, wasn't he? Come on, let's take him these. I love this sound. <laughs> so do I. They're perfect triangles. Triangles. Perfect for music, but not perfect for filling the hole in the trough. I've got to find the answer. Why don't you try Mimi? She knows all about shapes and things. Mimi, of course. Thanks, Horace. Come on. Bye. Hmm. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Jess. Ooh, what are you doing? I'm making a picture out of all these different shapes. Oh, but I can't find the right shape for this bit. I need something square shaped. Something with four sides all the same. This one's a triangle. What about this? Is this square shaped? <gasps> Perfect! Oh, thanks, Jess. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to answer a big question for Bob. He's so thirsty. Thirsty? What's that got to do with your big question? Bar's water trough's got a hole in it, Mimi. And I want to know what shape I need to fill the hole and mend it. But I just don't know what shape to use. <laughs> don't worry, Jess. I know all about shapes. Come on. Everything has a different shape and a size. Just look at our ears and the shape of our eyes. Take a closer look. Shapes. There can be With four equal sides We call it a square Just like that piece of bark we put in there A flower has a shape And petals do There's the shape to me And a shape to you There's the shape of a leaf And the shape of a feather Talk about shapes We could go on forever Shapes, shapes, shapes Take a look and see Shapes that there can be. <laughs> wow! I never knew there were so many different shapes. What's this? Ooh, it's all squidgy. Oh, that was an old clay pot I was making. It got squashed flat, so I was going to make it into something else. What's this shape called? It's a circle shape. Why? We've seen the shape before, haven't we? Can you remember the shape of the hole in Vars' trough? Was it a square shape, a circle shape, or a triangle shape? A circle shape! 
pineapple shape. Yes! <laughs> Just like this circle-shaped piece of clay. Mimi, please can I have this? Maybe it'll fill the hole in Bar's trough. <laughs> of course you can, Jess. Oh, thanks, Mimi. Let's go. There. <laughs> it fits perfectly. And the water can't get through the clay, so the hole will stay mended forever. Oh, here comes the rain. Come on, follow me. Can I have a drink now? Any minute now, Bob. We've just got to wait for the rain to fill the trough up with water. Look! The circle shapes filled the hole perfectly. And we've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! the hole in Bar's trough by using a circle-shaped piece of clay to fill a circle-shaped hole. Lovely! Water! <laughs> Careful, Bar! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you see what shapes you can find? Maybe you can make a shape picture like Mimi's. <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs> 